To enter a planting record, there's a couple of different ways we can do this. If you have precision farming data from a display, we can hit the Read Job Data button and import that information from a Trimble display, CNH, or many others. If uh, you do not have precision farming data to import in, uh, we can do a manual process, which is going to be my demonstration. So to do this, we will select the Inputs tab and choose the machines that were used in the operation. So I had my tractor, my corn planter, uh, I can even go as far as picking out the person, my supplies, uh, we'll pick out uh, my Pioneer seed corn and my Beck seed variety. So I had two different varieties in the field as well as a chemical and a fertilizer. Now I'm moving everything down to my working area down below here. So I'm being very detailed with my field records. It's really up to you how detailed you want to be. Uh, you don't have to track your, your, your people hours, your machines, if you don't want to. If you just want to track your supplies on your fields, you can certainly do that with the software. So it really comes down to how detailed you want to be. Now, we hit this button called Apply to Fields down below, or I can just take my cursor and click on the field or fields, and then select Apply Working Group and then my farming window appears where I can then enter in all my records. Now the software does its best to to enter a lot of this information for you to save time. Um, the crop enterprise is automatically selected for you as well as the uh, the job type. Uh, certainly you can change these uh, if, if they're wrong. Um, the field is 80 acres and it's used in today's date to enter the record. Uh, so you could turn back the clock if that's wrong um, but in this case, it's correct. The number of job hours total on that field was about five. And so by entering five, what you'll find out here is it's actually trying to fill in a lot of these records for you uh, for the, uh, the tractor hours and the people hours. So uh, if, if anything's incorrect here, you can simply change it. It's uh, very easy to do. Um, the number of gallons is trying to calculate here. Uh, it's, it's a burn rate that we've already set up previously before this step, so if, if, if this is incorrect, um, just go ahead and add the new value in. Uh, fertilizer, so based on the 80 acres in our, uh, our, uh, our plan rate was 4 uh, gallons per acre. If uh, for some reason this is incorrect and I use 2 tons, uh, it will enter in the correct actual rate for you. The same is true with the, the chemicals. If I really applied 42 gallons on that field, it will then uh, auto-correct the actual rate for us. It gets really interesting down here for the seed variety. So for this back seed, I applied 50 acres of it. And for the Pioneer seed corn, I planted 30 acres. So I'll just go ahead and, and change the acre fields for each one of these. And again, as you can see, it's it's trying to calculate the number of bags I uh, I should have applied on the field. So again, if this is wrong, we'll enter in the correct values at this time, and it's given us the actual rate applied uh, for our uh, our chemical usage report. This is where we can fill in um, the soil condition, weather, uh, all this information. That, uh, that we're supposed to have records on in case we do receive an audit. And uh, all this looks correct, so I'll hit the OK button. And uh, then we'll uh, go ahead and view some reports. So to do that, uh, we will go to uh, the field itself, which was field number one. Uh, right click on it and go to reports. Uh, the report window appears, and so the first report that we'll look at is the chemical usage report for the field, and we'll do a uh, by field page format for this one and hit the OK button. Uh, make sure the, uh, the date range is correct. Uh, a lot of people will uh, put the wrong date range in here and try to print a report and find out that they can't do it. So uh, make sure that date range is correct before you hit the preview window. 
but the chemical usage report is very nice it shows the the applicator um, all the weather information that we just filled in here uh, so it's very nice to have in case you do uh, do have an audit uh, other reports that uh, are very handy to see would be uh, the enterprise report so going down here to my my traditional report just hit the OK button um, we can go to our, our current uh, crop year and hit the report tab and so basically it's trying to uh, calculate your uh, your cost at the same time so right now we have about um, about two hundred and three dollars per acre uh, invested into this field so by entering these field records either by a, a manual process which which is what we just did or by importing our precision ag data uh, this software system is using our true cost of our inputs and our machines and it's uh, putting those values into this report here so we can see it at any time what our cost per acre is uh, other reports that you might find useful um, would be uh, maybe a seed report so I will just uh, uh, view this by crop and hit the OK button um, again make sure the date range is correct here and um, Oops, we need to select a, uh, a crop year and hit preview. Uh, we just uh, we just have this one uh, field operation here, but uh, as you can see, it shows uh, uh, the 50 acres of Bex and, and 30 acres of uh, the Pioneer seed corn. So right here, it shows us the rate used and the total number of bags.